you've also done something else as Dale was scrolling through Dale scroll yep. like um, you made some icons at the bottom mm -hmm. of your page. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, that that's what it is. Yeah. Berks County school district home search. What the yeah. hell is that? Well, what that is, is <laughs> if you click on any, if you click on any of those, you click on Antietam school district, for example, the first one, mm -hmm. the first thing you see is a banner which, and again, I won't get too deep with this. Uh, maybe the SEO folks talk about this, but um, the way this page is set up, it is meant that anytime someone would go in, and want to search Antietam School District Homes, that uh -huh. my site would rank on page one, that they'd find this page, thus being able to search for homes in the Antietam School District. So this is a landing page, is so what this is. I recommend everyone do this in their area, like... Um, absolutely have it, yeah. how many, how many, I mean, that's like the number one thing is like you know we want to be in this school district well it's like he, he, you're, you're nick, all the home right there nick you nailed it i mean i've worked with chime i've worked with commission zinc i've worked with conversion and a lot of these other groups i've had their sites worked with their management groups on user ux stuff and seo stuff um one of the interesting things is for a long time, they were all doing things like the name of a city or a zip code. The problem with that is in many areas, the name of a city encompasses lar a larger area than people are focused on. Mm -hmm. Therefore, in my area, you go to Reading, but Reading's Exeter and other areas and people want Exeter. They don't want Reading. So in order to do that, you end up going with school districts. How do you get school districts, Jeff? Can you scroll What's that? down? How'd you, how'd you get the school districts? How did you see which school district it belonged to? Where well, Tristan, it? does your MLS have schools? Yes. Yeah. MLS, almost all um, MLSs have school as a, as a search category. Yeah. If, your MLS has school, if your MLS has schools, then, then it'll, it'll auto populate. Absolutely. Right, so and, and what's happening on the larger scale of these companies is when you're using zip codes in local areas, you're not getting enough listings in a low inventory market. For example, in Berks County, there's 75 municipalities, but there's only 17 school districts. Wouldn't you rather have your customer find homes by searching 17 areas instead of 75 oh. areas? So you get to, you get focus on a school district much better than you do on a smaller area. So you made it simple. You, you went to what the buyer is looking for first. So you, yes. And that's the school district. Dale, can you click on another one so I can see like Boyertown? Yeah. I want to take a look to see what, what Jeff did. Jeff, did you do all this yourself, dude? Yeah. So you just grab the information from the city, scroll down. And then did you plot those little properties there? Or is that part of a uh, website? That's Dale's magic. That's, ah, that's yeah. I found agents magic, all the rest of that. 